Hello guys and girls, this is Raj and in this short lecture, we are going to learn about lambda layers. We are going to start with what is lambda layers and why we need it. Then we are going to do a lambda layers demo. And finally, we will go over some best practices. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to understand the benefits of lambda layer and implement lambda layers in your own lambda projects. Let's try to understand lambda layers using a very common scenario. Let's say your enterprise is a financial institution and all the activities from the customer is handled by microservices backed by Lambda. So let's say you have a Lambda for creating account. We will call it create account Lambda. And this Lambda validates if account number is 10 digits and then it has some business logic for creating the account. Similarly, we have another Lambda to get the account balance and this Lambda also validates if account number that's coming in for balance and query is 10 digit and then it has business logic to get the balance. And finally, we have another Lambda which updates account balance and this Lambda as well validates if account number is 10 digits and then it has business logic for updating balance. So what are some drawbacks in this? So we can see there is some duplication of common code. All three lambdas are validating if the incoming account number is 10 digits. If this logic needs to be changed, for example, in addition to checking if the account number is 10 digit, you may also want to check if it is in some specific format. So you have to go change all these three lambdas. And that increases testing and maintenance overhead. So how do we solve this problem? We use Lambda layers. So what is Lambda layers? Layer can be code, libraries, custom runtime, or other dependencies. You can upload layer once and reference within any Lambda function. You can reference code and libraries contained within the layer from your function without needing to include them in your deployment package which makes your deployment package small, contributing to easier development and deployment. You can securely share layers across one AWS account or multiple AWS accounts, AWS organization, and even publicly. And last but not the least, layer is free. All right, let's revisit the financial institution scenario, but this time with Lambda layers. So we are going to move the validate account number logic from all the three lambdas to the lambda layer. And each lambda function is going to execute the account validation logic from the lambda layer instead of duplicating the code in each of these lambda. And this is just one example. This can be extended for libraries, custom runtimes, and other dependencies. There is no performance degradation using a layer. When a Lambda function configured with a Lambda layer is executed, AWS downloads any specific layers and extracts them on the function execution environment. Okay, so now let's see Lambda layers in action with a demo. Also one thing to note, all the demo steps covered are under free tier, so feel free to follow them. And I'm going to show the demo using AWS console, but you can do the same using AWS CLI, CloudFormation, and SAM. Okay, let's jump into the demo. All right, so let's create the code for the Lambda layer. I'm using AWS Cloud9 for my IDE, but you can do this in any IDE of your choice. For including library dependencies in a layer, you do have to follow specific name for folders, for this example, I am coding using Python, so it has to be under a folder named Python. So under this Python folder, I have created a Python file named account underscore validation, and this is basically the code I'm gonna upload to my layer. So this Python file has the logic to validate account number. So it has a function with the name validate account, it is accepting a variable with the name of ACCTNO as input, and it's checking the length of the account number. If the length of the account number is 10, then it is returning pass, else it's returning fail. 
All right, our common code is all ready. So what I'm going to do now is right click this Python folder and click download. This will create a zipped file and download to my computer. Now time to create Lambda layer. We are in the AWS management console. So type in Lambda, click this Lambda option. Then on the left, click layers, then click create layer. We filled out the name and the description and then you have the option to upload a zip file from your local computer or upload a file from S3. We will upload the zip file that we downloaded from our local computer. We are selecting our python.zip, click open. Then you can choose compatible runtimes. For this demo, I'm going to choose Python 3.7 and Python 3.8. Click create. Okay, our layer is created and ready to be executed from lambdas. Now let's create our first lambda. We will go back to lambda service. This time click create function. We will give the function name as create account. Select the runtime as Python 3.8. We will let AWS create the execution role. Click create function. Before we go change the code, Click this layers icon to include the layer we created and then click add a layer. And here you have three options. There are some AWS layers provided by AWS, but since we created our own layer, we will click custom layer and from the drop down choose validation layer. You can also create versions of your layer if you change the layer. For now, you will select version one. Click add. Okay, our layer is included in this lambda and ready to be used. This is also signified by the numeric one in the parenthesis. You can include up to five layers in one lambda function. Okay, I have the code inside the layer on the right side and our lambda code on the left side. The way you import code from the layer is you do import and then name of the file, in this case, account underscore validation, and then you give it a name to be used inside this Lambda, and we are importing it as validation layer. So at this point, we can call the function inside the layer, specifically validate account within our Lambda. Note that we don't have to code this validate account inside our Lambda. So we typed in some sample code, we are expecting the account number in the event field with the key account NO. Then we are passing that account number to the validate account function included in the layer to check if it is 10 digits or not. And if validate account function returns pass, we are calling this create account function, which is defined in the Lambda, which will have the actual account creation logic. For this demo, I kept it blank. And if validate account does not return pass, we will return bad account number to the caller. Okay, let's save and test it out. We created a test event where we are passing a 10 digit account number and then click test. So if we scroll up, click the execution result, you can see account is created. So the code in Lambda layer is working. Similarly, we can include the same layer in update account balance and get account balance Lambda function and execute account validation logic. All the codes used in this demo are provided in my GitHub repository. Which brings us to some of the layer do's and don'ts. So layer do's put shared code into discrete layers, version layers and used to deploy across accounts. Layer don'ts don't treat layer as dumpster. Remember, layer gets loaded with your code, so the more unnecessary library and code you dump into your layer, the longer the cold start will be for the Lambda. And layer is a deployment play to make your life easier for development and deployment. The performance of the Lambda neither improve nor degrade with layers. All right, guys and girls, so we learned how Lambda layers reduce code duplication and make deployments easier. Lambda layer is a powerful tool in the modern serverless world, so go forth and utilize Lambda layers. All right, guys and girls, that is the video. Uh, if you found this video useful, please do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, click the like button, smash it if that's something you are into. Uh, subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel grow. 
Uh, also, check out my courses in Udemy if interested. There's a big Black Friday sale going on uh, for videos like this and many other serverless topics. Check out my serverless course where we go deep into different serverless components uh, along with all the newest features. And I keep all my courses up to date. Also, if you are looking into getting into Kubernetes with EKS, Fargate, and DevOps, uh, check out my highest rated uh, course in this area uh, in Udemy. Uh, so if you are someone who is trying to get into Kubernetes but find that the concepts are complex, I highly recommend uh, checking out uh, this course. Uh, also, I have another course on CloudFormation, CDK with DevOps and Interview Guide. I'll put the links to these courses in the description. So if you're interested, uh, please check them out. It helps me uh, support this channel and my other teaching activities. Uh, all right, that's all for today. Uh, have a great day. Keep rocking cloud. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.